Hello and welcome to Champions of Akash, a one-of-a-kind initiative that's bringing you success stories of the top performers in the NEET exam this year. Now we bring you the story of Shivam Patel, a boy from Meerut who dabbled with the idea of becoming a filmmaker, an astrophysicist, and today he scored very well in NEET, is one of the top scorers, and of course, he's on his way to become a doctor. Let us all welcome Shivam Patel. First of all, Shivam, congratulations for doing exceedingly well in NEET. How does it feel? It feels really nice. Yes, you worked so hard for it and your dreams coming true? Yeah. Okay, tell me something. Um, uh, how did you decide to become a doctor? What made you choose medicine? Uh, well, it wasn't a very long thought of decision. Like when I, in my early childhood, I was really interested in the art of filmmaking. So I wanted to be a filmmaker. But then I realized it wasn't really that viable. And then I found my interest in science and then astrophysics and then I just found my love from, for biology through my sister and decided to set uh, my eyes on the goal of becoming a doctor, a medical pro professional. And tell me then, when you thought about taking up medicine, um, what made you come to Akash? I mean, how did you settle down that, okay, this is the mentor I need to have in my journey towards becoming a doctor? Well, it is simply the best institute in our country for a medical practice like uh, it was an obvious decision. It doesn't mean that I didn't dabble between other institutes and other facilities for education. I even considered some individual tuitions, uh, some online classes, but it just didn't feel right. When I went to Akash, I found out the facility, I met with the faculties. It just felt the right thing to do. Tell me, where is it that you were going wrong before when you were on your own? And once you got the guidance from Akash, what are the things that you corrected? in what you were doing wrong that made you realize that this should be the strategy which is going to take me to a good result? Well, I just didn't have the platform to prove myself and uh, uh, see my performance. Akash provided me with an amazing platform. Uh, I am a very competitive person and the competition within my classroom itself, like it motivated me to be the, uh, to come out from among the crowd and uh, stand out among the crowd. So it definitely did the best in providing me a platform to show myself. And tell me, like, how uh, was Shivam's day like when he was prepping for NEET? What was your timetable like? What all would you do in a day to make sure that you get to the result where you have? Well, my timetable was a little questionable for at least some people. I was a night owl. I used to study at night and then sleep uh, throughout the morning. I had gotten many scolds from my parents as well for this. But it's just simply, simply a strategy that worked for me. So Shivam, everyone who's here in the studio with us and the ones who are watching you there, if there's one skill everyone looks up to a NEET aspirant, uh, a NEET aspirant looks up to someone who's achieved in a NEET exam, is learning time management. And I'm sure you're great at it. Please share some nuggets from your experience about how did you manage your time? Well, I was pretty consistent with my preparation. And by consistency, I don't mean a fixed amount of hours for studying. My goal was to set up a particular goal for the day and put my entire efforts in achieving that for a single day. And soon you realize it piles up and for your final exam. And uh, it's another important thing is don't be too overachieving with your goals. Like you have to uh, set realistic expectations because if you have overachieved with your goals, you will just bring your, mor just bring your morale down if you are not able to achieve them. Tell me something, Shivam. Was there any low phase? in your journey when you felt low on confidence if there was how did you overcome that uh, well there sure, surely was whenever i used to get low marks it definitely crushed me a little bit but uh, it's something that i didn't go too much uh, down on it just motivated me to perform uh, best for my next test like there's so many opportunities if i get fixated on a marks for a single test then it's just gonna trickle down and bring uh, my uh, motivation down for the rest of the test so it's uh, definitely there were a few low times uh, getting low marks definitely uh, was a little ha saddening experience for me but it didn't really falter me or demotivated me i just it just uh, motivated made me more confident to get uh, prepare better for the next one so shivam all students have like a weakness or two let's say you are clear on the concept but you're making a careless mistake and losing marks because of that so when you came to Akash, how did they help you identify what your weaknesses are and how did you build on them to come out the strong? Well, I was always quite clear with my concepts, but I used to make uh, very silly and careless mistakes. And it definitely frustrated me a bit because it just felt like something that uh, couldn't be treated or worked upon. 
but uh, my whenever i told this to my teachers uh, they scolded me a little bit but also motivated me and uh, they uh, pointed out where i was uh, really doing wrong and uh, by the end i was uh, pretty much done with, with all my weaknesses i had overcome them and it just felt great okay tell me uh, any one particular aspect of akash or any facility of akash that you think is is really commendable that really helped you uh well the teachers are like so close to the students uh, and doubt session feel almost feels like a friendly session even when i didn't used to have doubt i would just come and listen to them it just motivated me and uh, just relieved my stress tell me um if i was to ask you who are the main contributors to your success to shivam patel's success story these are the people or these are the ones who are responsible tell me who makes up for the role in that story well first of course they were my parents <laughs> they are uh, responsible for everything and then uh, it would be my sister like uh, she uh, she was the one who finally made me interested in this field she told me a lot and it just felt uh, so nice uh, to have someone in the same field she motivated me and uh, told me all the stories that she is going to that i'm going to experience in my college life as well and then then would be my teachers your faculty at akash yeah and they do you think they brought the best out in you yeah they really are uh, there okay um we'll open the floor for q and a with the audience now because i'm sure all the aspirants here have a lot of questions to ask can you please raise your hands and we we'll make sure that the mic comes to you can we have a mic go across please first of all congratulations bhaiya uh, my question is during the last month of your neat preparation what was your overall revision plan so that you can revise all over 90 chapters that are in the syllabus uh well my last month preparation wasn't that much different from my overall preparation i uh, usually just give the tests and then analyze your mistakes like if there if there is a mistake you have made just learn the entire concept that what i did i didn't uh, really uh, go through the entire syllabus all by myself in the last month because i think that's quite a, a mountainous feat but uh, i just analyze my mistakes and um, make sure to make a note of your mistakes in like a notebook or something my question is physics is a vast subject of class 11 and 12 so particularly how did you learn about physics all together i always found physics particularly interesting like it may seem very vast and complicated but the final uh, questions that are asked in the neat are pretty straightforward and pretty simple like you don't have to uh, go out and uh, pursue other books or many uh, complicated materials for it uh, physics is quite simple in neat so it, uh, i think it, we took take the stress of physics on ourselves uh, when it isn't really something to make a big deal out of so how did you navigate your way with backlog especially 11th syllabus did you uh, your uh, unique way did you simultaneously manage 11th as you were studying 12th or did you leave it for the last few months to revisit all together um, i left it for the last few months of the revision it definitely uh, if i had an opportunity i would definitely go down to revise my strategy as well but it uh, didn't really pose that much of a, of a problem uh in the last i just focused on uh, a few and uh, my ncrts and my modules and just so resolve the questions it just it doesn't take that much time because you have already studied it but uh, yeah it was and uh, as of uh, burnout how did you cope with that well i just uh, watch movie it replenished me to be honest uh I know a phone is like a big enemy for the preparation but I didn't really cut out that much on my screen time uh, it definitely um, replenished me and uh, relieved stress for me which books did you use for organic chemistry or physics uh totally ncrt and module only that okay thank you bhaiya thank you for asking all the questions we we'll leave it to that um shivam before we let you go uh if you could just elaborate on all the neat aspirants were here and you're watching you there If you were to leave with an advice for them, what would that be? Well, consistency is the key. You have to prepare, or you don't really have to break the cycle of your preparation. Like uh, whenever I used to, there was something that faltered uh, me a little bit within my cycle. It just frustrated me a little bit and made a lot of my days, uh, and I wasn't able to prepare that well for a lot of my days. So it's really important to be consistent. And then to set short-term goals, of course, to don't lose focus of your main. exam you have to set short term goals and set up for your next test thank you so much it was a pleasure talking to you thank you for this inspiring conversation and we wish you all the best for all the future endeavors so that was shivam patel's story but make sure you do watch the other success stories on champions of akash on the platform thank you for joining